Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Fitzwong TV here, aka Lauren 33 I am back here today with another video on the channel for you guys. Today, we have the early draft pages for Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 80. We're finally at 80 chapters. So, in less than two years, God willing, we'll be at 100 uh, chapters for the DBS manga. But the fact that we've already had 80 chapters, right? Remember, 80 consecutive months of this manga is insane you know uh and we are reaching the climax of the uh granola the survivor arc right and the battle between gas and granola is heating up and you know i i think we're getting closer to the end they've talked about it in you know uh uh it, on the dragon ball official website and at the last couple of weeks that we are getting towards the end of this arc and a new arc will be starting soon they haven't gave us any specifics but i'm thinking probably you know in the next three or four months this arc will be completely wrapped up and then we'll move into whatever's next for uh the dragon ball super manga uh and the thing about it is i would say last month's chapter even though it wasn't a bad chapter it was a quiet chapter it was a quiet chapter uh because yes we got gas versus granola but that was it there was no story content really uh we didn't see alec make a second wish we didn't see anybody arrive to the battlefield or anything like that it was just legitimately gas and granola the entire chapter so you know it was kind of a quiet month for the dbs manga and we'll see if things heat back up here uh with uh this uh chapter as gas and granola continues i do expect for, I'm not going to say the fight's going to end in this chapter, but I do, I do think something will happen where either Goku and Vegeta get back involved or maybe something happens with Alec, right? I don't think Gas and Granola will just be fighting one-on-one -on -one by the end of the chapter, right? I'm not saying the battle's going to end, but I think something big will happen in this chapter that involves some of the other characters. Uh, before we get into the early draft pages, and of course, I want to say thank you to DBS Chronicles, as always, for providing us with the translations, right? Uh, I just want to make a quick, quick news update for Dragon Ball Super Superhero, right? They've started to release, you know, uh, merch in Japan. They've started to uh, put out merch for the movie, right? And uh, this is like a mini towel set. And we kind of get like, you know, a new look at, you know, some of the characters that are going to be in the movie, of course. And I love the way some of these look. Like, you know, I, I love the artwork of this movie. I think the big thing is uh the cgi we don't know how the cgi is gonna look some people have you know are not you know that excited when it comes to the cgi uh and especially since this is gonna be mainly a 3d movie but you know like i said i'm gonna wait till we get the full movie you know in april whenever it releases here uh in the uh, u.s i'm gonna wait till we get it here before i give my own judgment of it right because the movie's not done yet there's still three months left to go and there's still tons of stuff we don't know about this movie so I'm going to be patient and wait uh, before I make any judgments. But uh, like we like I said, we have these uh, new uh, these new merch. It gives us a, you know, a more of a look at, you know, how our characters are going to look. Of course, you have Goku. I love the way Goku looks in this uh, one. And, you know, if you guys want, you can pause the video, zoom in. Right. You got Goku. We got Gohan. Right. Gohan in his scholar look uh, with uh, his his normal uh, outfit. But. You know, you could see he's in his base form with the glasses. Then, of course, we have Gohan in his ultimate state. You could see the difference clearly with, with his hair and the bang and everything like that. We got Vegeta. We have Piccolo. We got Pan in her school outfit. We got Krillin in his police outfit. We got Broly. So now it's like kind of, you know, officially, officially confirmed that Broly's in the film. We've only seen Broly for like half a second in all the trailers so far. But now it's, you know, they're not even trying to hide that Broly's in the film. We know, of course, he, he will be fighting Goku and Vegeta on uh, Beerus' planet. Those three will be training with one another. And we don't know if Goku, Vegeta, and Broly will have any larger role past that, right? This really feels like it's going to be a Gohan and Piccolo-centric film, which I don't have any complaints. Uh, and then we have Gamma 1, Gamma 2, and then we have these two hidden uh, characters. I believe, personally, this is Goten and Trunks. I think that this movie will finally get to see Goten and Trunks in their older states, right? You know, more like how they look at the end of Z. I feel like that's why they're hiding it because we've been asking for it for years. And I feel like, uh, 
this is them. I don't have any confirmation that this is them, but we know that Gunther and Trunks are in the film. That's been confirmed already. We just haven't seen that. Uh, just want to give you guys a quick reminder that the Dragon Ball Super Superhero uh, trailer, the next trailer, won't be out till February. So we have about uh, about a month till we get the next trailer. I expect that trailer to be more of a full length trailer because by then we'll only have about two months left before the film releases. So then they're gonna have to go very heavy on the marketing for the movie. So yeah, so like I said, you know, there's other cool pieces of merch. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, other cool pieces, right? You know, see a, a better uh, like key change, right? You know, Broly, uh, that's his outfit. He's gonna be uh, in the film, right? Looking like a beast. We got a better look at Gohan in his ultimate state, right? So, you know, expect to see a little bit more of this uh, as we get close to the film, and then you know, because as they as we get close to the film and they start promoting it more, more merch is gonna release, right? Like I said, we haven't got any, you know, merch that shows Goku and Vegeta using any other forms, which is surprising. So it looks like Goku and Vegeta might not be transforming in this movie. We don't know yet. I'm not going to say it's confirmed. But the fact that we really haven't seen any merch uh, that's centered around Dragon Ball Super Hero, right? Drag or Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. And it doesn't show anything about Goku and Vegeta transforming in any of those released merch so far. That's something that we... Uh, that's something that we have to keep an eye out for. All right. Uh, but yeah. But anyway, next up, uh, let's get into the Dragon Ball Super manga. Uh, so Dragon Ball Super manga chapter 80, right? Gas versus Granola. If you guys remember at the end of manga chapter 79, Gas and Granola, they were basically uh, even. Right, they were both, you know, uh, using uh, more of their techniques. Gas wasn't really focusing on using his key weapons technique anymore. He was more using some of the other techniques that he got with the wish, right, like instant transmission. But Brunola was being able to keep up with him. So that's exactly where we pick up, right? We see uh, everybody's watching Goku, Monito, Vegeta, uh, Oil, Maki. They're all watching, and then uh, as you see. Uh, we see it seems like gas uh, is powering up, right? And, uh, and remember, this is my first time looking at these. I didn't look at these before the video started, so you can see uh, you can see uh, it seems it appears that gas powers up, right? And you see he he makes like kind of <laughs> he does like a Superman punch, uh, uh, kind of to the uh, to the floor as he comes back down to the battlefield, right? And you can tell that the battle between Gas and Granola is about to heat up. This this kind of reminds me a little bit about Dragon Ball um, Super Manga Chapter 60. Remember, we got Goku, UI Goku versus Moro in Manga Chapter 59. And in their battle ramped up uh, in the second chapter of their fight in Manga Chapter 60. This is what this is reminding me of. You know, these two are, you know, about to go all out on one another. So I love uh, Granola's expression here, right? He's not messing around. Taking the battle seriously, uh, seriously. So, uh, so here, so here comes Gas, right? Gas comes, uh, charging at Granola, but Granola is able to dodge it with what I believe is supposed to be instant transmission, right? And uh, then it's Granola, or it seems like Gas does an I beams attack, so like kind of like Superman style. He does an I beam attack. You know, Granola is able to dodge that, and we see a bunch of floating rocks, you know. So I, I'm, I'm guessing that's the debris from when uh, Gas uh, landed back to the battlefield. So you can just tells you that they're they're fighting at super high speeds. So you, we see uh, Gas goes for a kick, but it seems like he kicks the rock, but he's not able to hit Granola. So Granola is doing a really good job of dodging all of Gas's attacks, but it it, it seems like Granola does almost like a Hakai with the rocks. Something like Vegeta did. If you guys remember back in, what was it, manga chapter 73, the first chapter that Vegeta in, uh, it was here chapter 73 or chapter 74. It was the first chapter of Vegeta and Granola's fight. Uh, you know, remember, Vegeta started off that battle by firing off, like, these Hakai rocks at 
uh, at gas. I mean, at granola. And it seems like granola kind of picked up on uh, on that from his fight with Vegeta, and now he's doing the same thing uh, to gas. So it's like he's you know using telekinesis to control all of these rocks, and then now he's making them explode. Uh, so yeah. Like, very similar to what Vegeta was doing earlier. Like I said, there's not a lot of dialogue here because it's mainly just action. You know, kind of similar to how last chapter was, chapter 79. So, uh, you see, you know, Gas does, you know, he does take a little bit of damage from that attack. Then Granola comes flying in with a kick, and it does push uh, Gas back. Like I said, it could be, it could, it could be a little bit difficult to see uh, what's truly happening because these are early draft pages. But of course, we will be getting the full chapter in about a week. I would say about next Wednesday, next Thursday ish, we'll be getting the full chapter. So, uh, uh, but then uh, we see that Mackie and Oil, uh, they comment even though he's more powerful, and they're talking about gas. Even though he's more powerful, he's losing to him in skills. Damn it, weren't those Dragon Balls all powerful? Mackie's like, this isn't the end. Gas is still standing. So what they're talking about is, is we know that Gas is stronger than Granola. That was the whole point of the wish. But, you know, uh, but Granola, it seems like right now he's more skillful than, uh, than Gas. Right? And that's why, you know, Granola has been able to stay in this fight. You know, it really is a testament of how, you know, how much Granola has grown just in this arc alone. You know, from his battles with Goku and Vegeta, now to this battle with Gas, Granola has learned and, you know, uh, Granola has learned and seen a lot. You know, so uh, the fact that, you know, even though we know that Gas is more powerful than Granola, Granola is able to hold his own. And like I said, we don't know how much more powerful uh, gases than granola we don't know that we don't know how much more powerful granola is uh or gases than granola it could be a very small amount they don't you know give us a big indication of that in this chapter they don't all right they don't tell us you know how much stronger granola was than goku and vegeta when he first made the wish same thing here with gas they never gave us an indication of how much stronger gas was than granola so you know, it's just uh, I'm enjoying seeing these two go at it. You know, I, I'm I'm my guess is you know even though I would I would say that gas is stronger, right? The bat or the difference between these two at full power is not that much. It's not huge. It's not to the point where Granola would be getting his ass beat because if that was true, Granola would be getting his ass beat. It's simple as that. So we see, uh, you know, like I said, Mackie is you know concerned, but you know, gas is still in this fight. And these two are still going at it, right? Class and fist. You know, I like this panel done with the kicks right here. Uh, but Gas says, I can read your moves now, right? And, and uh, Vegeta comments that, you know, uh, Granoa is taking too long, right? The longer this battle goes, the easier uh, it is for Gas to get used to Granoa's moves. Because gas is stronger. So I, I like that. I like that. You know, even though Granola is a smart fighter, the longer this goes, because gas does have that advantage and strength, no matter how significant it is, it's, you know, helping him to read Granola's moves. Because Granola can't just change his fighting style the whole fight, you know? And this has been a, you can tell this is a long battle. And that's that. You know, that was it. So basically, the cliffhanger is. Gas is starting to, you know, catch up uh, to Granola, and that's the cliffhanger. So, like I said, uh, basically, if if it, if I had to make a prediction, right, we don't have, we don't know what happens past this point. We'll just have to wait till next week. If I had to make a prediction, I think that this is when Gas will start taking uh, control of the fight, you know, and you know, I I wouldn't be surprised if Gas wins the fight by the end of the chapter. You know, I don't like I said, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I do think. You know, this is where, uh, when Gas will start taking control. This little cliffhanger right there, right? Gas starting to read Granola's moves. And, uh, I, th I expect, at least in the next part of this chapter, uh, I expect Gas to start taking control. And then we'll have to see, uh, how Granola is able to counter that. 
Will we see Ultra Instinct Goku or Ultra Ego Vegito make an appearance? It's a possibility. You know, remember, you know, with Goku and Vegeta staying on the sidelines while Granola fights, they are regaining their stamina. You know, so uh, you know, you know, maybe we will see Ultra Ego Vegito or Ultra Instinct Goku uh, uh come out by the end of the chapter. Who knows? Remember, we still have to uh remember Elix out there as well, right? Uh, because, you know, last chapter he only appeared for a couple panels and Alex said that he had other business to take care of. A lot of us thought that he was collecting the Dragon Balls again because, of course, the Dragon Balls on Planet Serio, they don't have any time limit. They can be collected over and over again. So maybe that's what Alex doing. We're, we're not 100% sure, but uh, that is something we got to keep our eyes on. Uh, also... Uh, uh, so, you know, some people have thought that maybe Alex going to meet with Frieza. It is a possibility, but I do find it unlikely. I think the most likely scenario is Alex, you know, uh, collecting the Dragon Balls and making his true wish, whatever that is. I definitely I think that Alex has another wish up his sleeve uh, outside, of course, of the original wish, which was making gas the strongest. But uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. You know, but we are reaching the climax here, and it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this all ends. You know, definitely the way this arc is judged, because I think some people thought this arc would be a little bit longer. You know, uh, we're 14 chapters in, right? The moral arc was about 20-something chapters. You know, this arc is going to be, end up being shorter than the moral arc. So, uh, depending on what happens, a lot of people are going to judge this arc based off how it ends, which is fair, of course. But we'll just have to see. I still think we have a couple more chapters before this truly ends, right? But we are getting closer and closer to the end here with the Granola Lee Survivor arc, and it'll be very interesting to see how it all ends. Like I said, I will keep you guys updated with everything here, the Dragon Ball Super manga. Uh, like I said, the, chat, the full chapter will be releasing about the 20th, the 21st. So next Wednesday, Thursday-ish, we should be getting the full chapter. Uh, we, we will be getting V jump links. V jump links today's Thursday, so expect V jump links starting uh sometime this weekend. I would say either late Saturday in the Sunday. Uh, we should start getting V jump links. So if we get any uh leak panels, of course, uh, I will make a video like I always do. So I would probably expect manga spoilers either late this weekend or early uh next week at the latest so probably around monday i would say monday would be like a, a, probably a perfect time for us to get spoilers so we get leaked panels and a leak summary of what happens of course i'll make a video like i always do but other than that guys that's about all i got for you guys today thank you guys as always for joining me here on the channel if you guys are new to the channel leave a like on the video subscribe by hitting the bell next to my name fitzpunk tv so you guys are notified every time i post a new video this is your home for all things dragon ball also make sure to follow me down on twitter the uh, links in the description down below shout out to dbs chronicles of course for getting us these translations like always he is a goat thank you guys as always i'll see you guys later man stay safe and healthy y'all peace